everyone, I'm Raz the Razplay, and today's a bit of a fishing tutorial for all you new players, because today we're going to show you how to make the fishing potion, the sonar potion, and the crate potion here in Terraria for all platform. But before we get there, as always, please hit subscribe on the channel right now. We want to hit 100,000 subscribers, and we're doing that with tutorials like this for all of you new players, so please hit subscribe right now. Secondly, bell notification, hit it right now so you know when I go live or drop a new video. Number three, drop a like right now because... That's huge for the algorithm, and it's a big help. Also, comment down below. And finally, check out that description for a lot of cool links. Now, let's show you how to make the fishing potion, the sonar potion, and the crate potion. All right, now you're probably sitting there thinking, Raz, what more could I possibly need? I've got myself a golden fishing rod. I've got my angler's outfit. There's the hat, the vest, the pants. I've got a bunch of accessories. Heck, I'm even dressed like a mermaid. What more could I possibly need to be a great fisherman? Well, you, my friend, need these three potions right here. The first one you're going to need is the fishing potion. The fishing potion will increase your fishing power by 15 for 8 minutes. The sonar potion, number 2, will show you what you're going to pick up. So you drop the line in the water, and it'll show you every time it bobs what's on the line so you can know what you're picking up. And finally, the crate potion will double your chance of getting yourself a crate every time you fish so let's show you right now how to craft those potions so the first potion we're going to look at is the fishing potion now the fishing potion will last for eight minutes and will increase your fishing power by 15. to make one of those you're going to need a crispy honey block water leaf and bottled water let's show you first where to find those items so to get your hands on some crispy honey blocks, the first thing we're going to need is honey blocks. So what we'll do is we'll take some water here, we're going to dump it into some honey, and there you go. There is your honey blocks. Now to craft yourself some crispy honey blocks, just grab your honey blocks, bring them over to a furnace, click right there, and there you go. There's some crispy honey blocks. Now to get your hands on some water leaf, make sure you're in the desert and it'll grow on sand. But a little tip for you, if you pick it up when it's dry out, you won't get seeds. But if it's raining, you'll also get some water leaf seeds. So make sure you wait till it's raining so you get the seeds so you can plant them to get yourself more water leaf. To craft yourself a water bottle, you're going to want to be either on or in the water with a bottle handy. Once your bottle is handy, you click on that right there for bottled water and there you go. There's your bottled water. Now that you have your ingredients, head over to your crafting station, which is either a place bottle on a table or an alchemy table. Once you have that, go into crafting. There's your fishing potion right there. Voila, you've got yourself a fishing potion. Next on our list is the sonar potion. Now, the sonar potion also lasts for eight minutes, much like the fishing potion, but its effects are different. The sonar potion will allow you to see what you're fishing up while you're fishing. We'll show you that in a second. Now, to make one, you're going to need, once again, a water leaf, a water bottle, but this time you're going to need coral. So let's show you how to grab the coral, and then we'll show you how the sonar potion works. To get yourself some coral, just head over to the ocean biome at the end of the map, and there you go. Just pick it up with your axe. Got that? Good. And make sure you grab a bunch, because, well, you're going to need it. Trust me. Now, let's show you how the sonar potion works. If you'll notice, when you're fishing, as the bobber goes up and down, you don't see anything, right? It's just a random guess as to what you catch. But if you use a sonar potion, as you see right here, there we go. Drop the line back in, and you'll see right there we can catch a flounder. Or perhaps... A rock lobster, because it wasn't a rock. It was a rock. Moving on. An oyster. I'll take one of those. So there you go. That's how the sonar potion works. And finally, let's look at the crate potion. Now, the crate potion lasts for four minutes in duration and will double the chance of you fishing up a crate while fishing while active. Got that? Good. The ingredients are water leaf, moon glow, bottled water, amber, and shiver thorn. Let's show you how to find those ingredients. To get your hands on some shiver thorn, just head over to the snow biome. You'll find it growing on the surface. But please, bring a coat, because burr, it's cold. To find yourself some moon glow, head over to the jungle after 7.30 at night and before 4.30 in the morning, and you can find yourself moon glow growing in the jungle. There you go. Now, the easiest way to find yourself amber is to head over to the desert. Once you see some sparkling orange stuff like this that looks like a gem, you pick that up, and there you go. There is some amber. Now that we've got our ingredients, we head over to our crafting station, and there you go. With the bottled water, amber, moon glow, shiverthorn, and water leaf, we get one crate potion. And there you go. Now we've got our crate potion, our fishing potion, and our sonar potion, so we know what we're fishing up, and we can fish it up more powerfully. Powerfully, is that a word? Probably not. So there you go. That is how to make your three fishing potions and how to use them. If I helped you out, as always, please hit subscribe, hit the bell notification, drop a like down below, check out the description. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Ciao.